Hello and welcome to the Stonehenge Landscape Tour. This brief introduction will aim to highlight some of the work carried out by the Stonehenge Riverside Project between 2003 and 2009, as well as introducing some of the major monuments located in and around the Stonehenge landscape. The Stonehenge Riverside Project is the largest research project to be undertaken within the Stonehenge landscape, with over 60 trenches excavated. The project has been involved with some of the leading discoveries associated with the area over the last seven years, including the discovery of Neolithic houses in Durrington Walls, the excavation of Aubrey Hole 7 within Stonehenge itself, and the discovery of Blue Stonehenge at the end of the Stonehenge Avenue. OK, so let's begin, and where better to start than at the beginning? The Greater Cursus is located just north of Stonehenge and runs east to west for three kilometres. This is one of the earliest monuments found within the area dating between 3600 to 3000 BC. It was originally thought that it was once used as a Roman chariot raceway. However, it is now thought to have marked a prehistoric processional route. Located at the east end of the Great Cursus, Amesbury 42 Long Barrow is a mortuary mound dating to the same period as the Cursus. Excavations undertaken by the Stonehenge Riverside Project have helped to unearth some of the secrets of this barrow and how it links into the landscape. Excavated in 2007, the Cuckoo Stone is a fallen standing stone of Sarsen, located southwest of Darrington Walls. It is thought to have had spiritual associations and was a focus for activity from the Neolithic through to the Roman period. Found to the northeast of Stonehenge, Darrington Walls is the location of a Neolithic settlement later covered by an earthwork enclosure. First excavated in 1966 to 1968, it is thought to have been in use between 3500 to 3100 BC and again during 2600 to 2400 BC. Excavations undertaken by the Stonehenge Riverside Project in 2004 to 2007 have revealed many secrets of Durrington Walls, including the Neolithic houses. It is thought that Durrington Walls was linked to Stonehenge through the River Avon and the Avenue. The River Avon winds its way southwestwards from Durrington Walls to the end of the Stonehenge Avenue, and although heavily modified and adapted over the last few thousand years, would have been a vital stretch of water for the people associated with the prehistoric Stonehenge landscape. Heading south of Durrington Walls, we come across Blue Stonehenge. Discovered in 2008, this site was excavated as part of the Stonehenge Riverside project between 2008 and 2009. The excavations revealed part of a ring of up to 26 stone holes, whose sizes and shapes have led archaeologists to believe they once held some of the Stonehenge Blue Stones. It is thought that Blue Stonehenge was dismantled around 2400 BC and the stones moved to where they are located today. Linking Stonehenge to Blue Stonehenge is the Stonehenge Avenue. 
running for three kilometres from the northeast entrance of Stonehenge eastwards to the River Avon. This processional route would have had a bank and ditch either side of it. Excavations along the avenue have revealed that it dates between 2500 to 2300 BC. Stonehenge complex itself is very complicated and consists of two main parts. The outer bank and ditch was the earliest activity to take place within Stonehenge, together with the ring of 56 Aubrey holes just inside the bank, and dates to just after 3000 BC. Later, the inner circles of stones were erected and rearranged in the period between 2600 to 2100 BC. There are two different types of stones found within this stone circle, which include Welsh blue stones, the smaller horseshoe located at the centre, and the sarsen circle, and five large sarsen trilithons, which Stonehenge is so famous for to date. This large Bronze Age Barrow Cemetery is known as King Barrow Ridge and dates to around 2000 BC. Although never excavated, these round barrows are thought to have contained wealthy and prestigious burials, positioned for all to see in one of the most impressive locations within the Stonehenge landscape. Another more famous monument located around the Stonehenge landscape is Woodhenge. This monument consists of a series of large post holes arranged in concentric ovals. It was first excavated in the 1920s and dates to 2600 to 2400 BC. After the timber posts had decayed, it was enclosed within a circular ditch between 2400 to 2100 BC. Running alongside the Greater Cursus, these five burial mounds, known as the Cursus Barrows, date to the Bronze Age around 2000 BC. Although much later than the Cursus itself, these and hundreds of other round barrows in the surrounding area show that Stonehenge landscape was still a vital and important place for people long after the first monuments were created. This tour highlights only a few of the monuments investigated by the Stonehenge Riverside project between 2003 and 2009. Please feel free to explore the landscape further and see what was discovered by the project by investigating the Stonehenge Riverside project folder in the Places panel, just to the left of your screen. This folder includes 3D models, 360 degree panoramic photos of the sites, trench outlines, descriptions and photos, geophysics plots and much, much more. Thank you and enjoy.